you think anyone like does investigate it's like there's like two people that do investigation in this game at this point me and bad humans casino's done some stuff and of course lucky found cam shot but has anyone figured this out yet i don't know it's something it's something to do with the hard difficulty modifier as far as i'm aware because i haven't if anyone has any evidence of the slasher hawk crashing happening on easy or normal please let me know but i haven't seen it i've only experienced that on very hard which by extension you'd think it would exist on hard because hard difficulty modifier but i have never done a run of hard but logic would say that it also exists on hard since hard and very hard it's you know i at one point i was like oh that's the very hard difficulty mod it's just hard difficulty modifier been working yourself to death uh try not to do that not to be a smart ass but if you can help it please don't sounds awful Tony has found a couple of things, but he doesn't, like, investigate the game. He he figured out a couple of strats, which I am thankful for. But we're talking investigation, not happening upon strats. There's two people, primarily, with Ghost Babble Brain, and that's Bad Humans and myself. Not to say other people can't have ghost babble brain, but it's a different kind of breed and beast and creature. Two. Turning off global hotkeys. This is a completely raw, no testing RNG setup. I'm just trying to manipulate. I have not done the investigation because trying to do it by hand and by my stupid methods would be not smart. Someone more technical should look at it from that perspective, but I'm just trying to manipulate. If I can find a manipulation, great, then I'll re I'll replicate it. I'll try to replicate it. And then we can study it and be like, okay, we have something. But it's not necessarily the thing to go for. Because ultimately, you don't want it like that. You want it so that there is a range of values that will work, so you don't have to do a 1 in 120. Or 160 times 160 press. Money's on the table. If anyone wants to also contribute to the bounty, please consider it. Also high proof. But don't take it as me being bitter because I have gotten way more people running this game. Well, one person for sure. A few people in the wings. I don't say anything until they actually run it. There's been people who have literally learned this whole game and then they don't run it. It's hilarious. I believe the term is blue balls. What? 
Wow. You've had your backlog. I didn't know backloggery existed in 08. I didn't know that site was that old. Wow. Seriously? Why am I doing this? Oh god. I'm, again, I'm just getting too engaged in my conversation, not thinking about my lines. Ay, ay, ay. Like, I gotta do a punch buffer. At that point, what I should have done was just wait. Legit. Try not to be a doofy. Wow. Today I learned. Yeah, that counts. Playing Snake and Smash Ultimate. Technically, someone could submit, like, a Snake Adventure mode play to one of our marathons. I would consider that completely valid. As long as you were actually doing a Snake run. Lost two seconds, so I'm destined to get a 130 at least. Difference is this time, not going to be dumb at wave skip, I'm actually going to focus. That's the one thing that'll suck if, uh, when I run very hard again. I'm not gonna be able to talk. Like, if anyone was around for when I was running Big Boss, most of the stream I was, like, silent. Because it's, it's, there's just so much focus involved in that run. Really bad, but whatever. So I'm not plus 16 out of stage 4. I submit the snake game. It's a good meme. You can't submit anything, Ed. So... Well, you can, but... You remembered the login. Well, well done. Well freaking done. 07. I had no clue. I figured it was from like 2013 or something. Physically can't. Hmm. Little did I know. Okay. Let's be smart. Alright, we were smart. Yep. IGT is paused when you open the menu, when you call the codec, when you're transitioning between screens. It accounts for in-game lag. 
There's only one issue with the IGT, and that's in the final stage. When Viper starts talking, uh, the IGT continues to tick, which means the Japanese version is both the fastest real-time and in-game time, sadly. You're only losing a few seconds or whatever, potentially. It just depends on... Oh, Lord. I think you should honestly do the later turn. Okay. I needed to get into him. <laughs> if you only get, like, one-page dialogues on English, you're fine, but some of them are not just one page. So then you have to let the text box scroll. And of course, that loses time. That is the other reason why the task should be in Japanese. It is just straight up the fastest version, no matter how you slice it. Uh, yeah, the Japanese version is cheaper. Bad luck. This has been a rough stage. I don't know about the European card. The American card is quite pricey. I got mine loose for 60 bucks several years ago. Like, in 17. And that game has ballooned in price. Yep. And I have the box in manual. It's probably like 300 bucks or something stupid. But, if you want to run, you get the Japanese card anyways, so... Unless you're doing VR. Or just ILs. Then it doesn't matter. As long as they're ILs that aren't the number 13, you're fine. Or if you're just playing casually. Then, really, the best version to get is the PAL version. They call a hidden gem. Yeah, I would say so. Overlooked. Not underrated, overlooked. I'm looking at my best segment. I was looking at the wrong one. My best segment is 324. throwing me off. <laughs> also, uh, shoutouts to Jay, who's been, uh, humming away, getting some runs done on the, uh, on easy difficulty. All right, take care, Ed. Damn! I cut down trees, I skip and jump, I like to press wild flowers, I put, I put on, on women's, women's clothing, clothing and hang, and hang around, around in bars. In bars. Gift subs from the very generous zero. You're a lumberjack and you're okay. You sleep, you sleep all, all night, night and you and work, work all, all day. day. Mm. 
another one. You're and a lumberjack and you're, you're okay. okay. You sleep, you sleep all, all night, night and you and work, work all, all day. day. Oh, you think the MGSR site is neat looking? We're gonna be like redesigning it too. But thank you. Thank you, Zero. I'm a koala, and that's okay. I sleep all night, and I sleep all day. One, two, three. Okay. It's the wrong one. Yeah, I appreciate it. Very kind. Oh. We got some exciting projects coming down the pipe for MGSR. Now Lighty can spam my face. Truly a dream. Absolute dream boat, frankly. All right, let's try this again. I'm gonna do the save strat at Mud Guards. True story: the ply blue face was uh. I think that was two. One, two, three, two. That was second button, right? God. Well, we'll see very quickly. Yeah, we're fine. That was made in a voice call between me and Lighty. It's just like, the lighting in my room gets super blue once the sun goes down, so then I just turn super blue without any uh, light on my face. Shoutouts to CDOS for that line. Now I'm Tony's profile picture on Twitter. Nice. Look at that edge. Claustrophobic.png Everyone's favorite website.
Should work. Yeah, she changed that to her PSTV boot screen because she hacked it. Which is like a jump scare. Because it just pops up. <laughs> and it disappears after like two seconds. <laughs> uh. Alright, so I have time save in this stage. Oh. Yeah, you should record it. Put it on Twitter. Truly a glorious sight. This is better than last run, but it's still not great. Though I'd say about... Three seconds of that are my fault. The other two are just luck. Could have played... Uh, Hawk could have been a bit better. Trying to actually be focused. What a joke. Being focused on a speedrun. Bad idea. That was like... Just good enough. On that positioning to not get spotted by the guard. One, two... Three, four, five, worst luck. RNG describes 2D Metal Gear, essentially. A lot of RNG in the in these games of various kinds. Wait until we get to stage 9. I'm sure we're gonna find a very good excuse for that one. Unless I actually did find my magic spot. Need my gun out. Oh, 
One, two, three, four. Meh. Thanks, a kamikaze. All, all of my mistakes can be forgiven if I found the Manip TM. This will be like, five seconds? What five seconds? I just saved over a minute. Better to be lucky than good. Though, then we're really just talking about stacking the deck. It's just, no matter what, you should pick up those stuns. No matter what. You have to wait anyways for that guard. So either you're gonna knock him out, which takes a second anyways. So in the time that it takes you to do that, you might as well just picked up the stuns and then moved. Stop cheesing me, please. Ugh, that is quite unlucky. <laughs> The double look. One, two, three. Yeah, two looks. Very bad luck. He almost got me, too. It have been really bad. That's why you always have to be on your toes on in this game. Or else you might just, you know, get caught on one of, you know, one of the worst stages to get caught in. There's like only one part of this stage where getting caught is okay. Everywhere else it's super bad. Did that late. It's the start of that one, I think. No, it's a completion. It's the completion. That was right. Bad movement, though. The funny thing is, is running on alert here is easier than not running on alert. Usually you do not get hit. Sometimes you do, but usually you don't. But even this room is empty. It's only the bottom room where there's actually a guard. Meanwhile, I'm very hard. You have to deal with a whole cycle. Okay. 
Okay. I mean, I kind of had some bad luck, but I didn't do an extra death because of silliness, so... Uh, there's thermo goggles. Um, that room I was just in that I blew the wall, um, in the corner, there's thermo goggles. So what you're supposed... Well, what you're intended to do, or what they want you to do, is to do another trip on the conveyor belt to pick up the thermo goggles, then come back around and then use the thermal goggles. But this is an intended sequence break, because in the next stage, Jimmy will give us thermal goggles. So this is... They planned for this. It just checks, like, do you have thermal goggles? No? Then Jimmy gives you it. So even though, um... I could go pick them up right then, I can still be faster. My best run there was a 0713. And you can definitely get like sub 10. You can get like 707 or whatever. I think actually like a low 7 would be like the limit, but you'd have to get like all perfect elevators, which good luck. So realistically, probably like a high 70x, like 707. I could see that. I got trolled by that guard. That lost me like two seconds, for instance. But elevator RNG is elevator RNG. So we're skipping that. Because if I play well, I don't need it. I'll pick up a package in stage 11. Which should, maybe, shouldn't run like that. Enable me to save a second in this stage, perhaps. It's not guaranteed, though. I had a kind of a wacky line there. You get so many alerts on this stage, on any person. If you're starting out, I would pick up that pack. I'm now playing on my CRT, by the way. I didn't mention that. So that's why the camera angle looks different. <clears throat> but this is better for my setup because I can have my... I can actually have the fully expanded splits uh, spreadsheet. It makes my screen real estate way less tight. In reality. So. It's nice. Plus, it's, like, I was like, oh, no, you know, CRT, it's gonna look so small. It's still looks small. It's fine. Like, the size is totally fine. I can play like this A-OK. -okay. If I was playing my 14-inch CRT, granted, it'd be sitting pretty close, but it might be a bit small. But on the 27-inch, it's totally fine. Yeah, there's NVG that you can pick up in this stage, but it's out of the way, so we don't pick it up. We already have a way to see in the dark. So, 
But if you pick up the NVG, you can actually see what Marionette Owl looks like. I don't know if I can actually get this best segment. Well, actually, no, I think I can. Even with, uh... I think I had, like, a perfect marionette owl fight. No, oh, it's... Yeah, I don't really hear the tube. I hear it on startup, but I don't really hear the tube. You might just have sensitive ears. Over time, you won't be super sensitive to that, because your hearing will get worse. Some t tube TVs were more than others. I have extras. I really want to get rid of some of them. Is there... I don't need that many. I posted on Twitter, and no one, no one was like, eh. I might post the R speedrun subreddit. Like, does anyone in the Chicago area or Midwest area want a CRT for running? Not a collector, please. Like, someone who actually wants a CRT. I, mean, I could, I could drive further, but then you know we're talking. I'd have to make a trip out of it, and then that that's expense. If it's someone in the Midwest, it's a little bit more reasonable. If someone was like, I live in Montana, can you get me a CRT? I'd be like, you're gonna have to pay me to come out there, bro. Or non-bro, sorry. I don't know how many speedrunners there are in Montana. Yeah, there is video out on some of the CRTs. I actually do have composite out on the CRT in the basement, but I've never tried it. <laughs> Felt like I was living in exile. I mean, it's beautiful out there, right? Yeah, I used to have a Sony Wega. I got rid of it. I had some issues way too early. Very different, I bet. This is... I was being too cautious with my movement. Hey, Cherry. Nice dog. I've never been to Montana. I've been to those, like, I've been to every state on the West Coast. Except British Columbia, but that's a province, not a state. Or Baja, California. But I have, and I've been to Idaho, but I have not, like, gone east of Idaho. Like 15 bullets. Should be okay. One, two, three, four.
Billings. I know Missoula is a college town. So I believe that's where the University of Montana is. Do the North Coast tour. I think is fairly boring. North Dakota. Ugh. It's not until you get into the mountains that it gets interesting. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, North Dakota. Am I sorry? I don't think so. I honestly feel like I should cut from in front of him, but I'm a little nervous about that. Nothing. Alright, that's a pillar. That's a good pillar. As far as I'm concerned, like it's okay. Like, it's an elevator pillar, but it's it's the best elevator pillar. It's nothing there. Oh, you're in the plains area? Alright. Legit focus time. Should work. No, that is the next thing I'm doing. It's a good skip. one second off my SOB. Probably could be like, I don't know, 240X, 24X. You can see it much more than that. I mean, there's some things, you, you can like blow up the electric box, but that's kind of a weird RTA strat where you're gambling that you're gonna get bad luck. <clears throat> I've seen one pillar. 
not great. I have one basement pillar. This is either going to be okay or bad. I mean, <clears throat> if I do get a basement pillar, it's okay, since I have to go down there anyways. I really just don't want Ben Pillar. Get that one. Two, three, four. I kind of need my card out. So check this one now. Okay. So that's good. Um, that means I'm actually going to save some time. So on easy and normal, you want to check that pillar first. Assuming you, we don't just completely min up this whole thing. But um, because if you get that pillar, you don't go up this hallway and get the c4 and check that pillar spot because there's a c4 in bison's room that you can pick up and save like four seconds so it's good to okay so not there forgot what room i was in Is the game store in Billings, Montana still there? Please advise. One, two, three. Is Billings worth visiting? You think I should totally skip it? Montana's not really high on my list, to be honest. Okay. So that's three. That means I got this pillar. I must have gotten that inside pillar? Yeah, this. Yeah. I don't know why I'm checking like that. It's because I'm worried that that spot that I'm going to actually is a spot, but I have not confirmed that. I think, I feel like CDOS said that she saw this spot, um, that bottom one, previously. I don't remember if I shot, so. So this is honestly okay luck, it's just, I, uh, oops. wanted to go check. Like, this is actually decent. Like, if I minute this, I'd be happy with this. I mean, it's not, it's not perfect. The elevator. It's not perfect, but it's it gets the job done. Like this is I think if you knew all these spots, this would be like a high two.
pull that out. One, two, four. Trying. And saves like two seconds or something to cross between those fires, but it's pretty precise. Okay, I think that's a two or a very low three. Very low three, okay. Yeah, like if I didn't go, uh, if I didn't go to the West Wing and then like check that spot that I don't know if it's a spot, um, that would have been like probably like a 240, 230, which is honestly fine. I would, I would replicate, I would replicate this because this is like good, this is decent results. It's not perfect, but like all the spawns are no well, for one thing you get the uh um skip C4 spawn, which is nice. So that saves time. And then you get the best basement spot, which I'd say is okay. Like it's it's okay. It's the best basement spawn, so you'll take that. So you add all that together, you have like a 240 or something? I think if you knew where all the spawns were, like you already knew like you're getting the best luck, you're probably getting like Maybe even close to a sub 2. I don't know if sub 2 is possible, but very close to it. I think if you're not checking stuff and you get best spawn, the best pillars in every position, like, probably. Well, this is Pace, and I just gotta ride this out. This stage is gonna be a bit of a problem, though. It's probably the best stage in my run. Not bad. All right. I have a helicopter. I could have, but I failed. Well, I'm gonna lose time here. That could have been, um, that could have been just as good as my last run. Thanks. I had a decent, like, totally acceptable set of pillars. Like, acceptable in the way that I'd be fine, um, trying to replicate this. Um, I had the closest one at the elevator in the basement, so the best spawn in the basement. Um, 
the one at the start of the left electric floor uh, where you do the cam shot where the turrets are and then uh, one in Bison's room and then one at the bottom of the other elevator which meant I could skip the C4. So if you actually got, if I got that again, I could actually get like a 230, I think. But I would have to completely replicate my, I would have to, you know, do the one in, one in one. 20 press so 160 and 160 but assuming it is just bashing the bpm assuming i did that properly then it's fine and there's indicators for whether you got it or not i don't know if i'm gonna be manipping during the race though It was interesting watching like the flash into black. That gets rid of gar of a guard. It opens the door. Probably saves about a second or a little bit under. So we're going to get this C4, or C4, um, Galil. So it's fast. It's like 10 frames or something. It's minuscule. That's the pickup you want if you're being optimal. I still had... A few extra bullets. Not a lot, but a couple. And it wasn't like I played Bison or Owl perfectly. Like, both of them I missed shots, so... There is, there is leeway. It's not, um... It's not super strict. Which is nice. Press. Let's go. I really, really want subnormal. Really, really want that. I've been waiting years, years. All the records are so up for grabs. It's wild. I was just thinking about Big Boss the other day. I'm like, th that route has changed so much. It's changed so much. <laughs> Between cam shot and some other op, like just cam shot in general and getting the gun early changes the run significantly. I 
I don't trust it. If I did that, I would have gotten caught. Just do not trust. If you see a, a laser not disappear, don't trust it. Chances are you're just gonna ruin your life. Now, if you see a laser disappear, then you're totally fine to go for it. You should go for it, then. If you don't see it disappear in front of you, do not go for it. You will be disappointed. <laughs> do not YOLO your run this deep. Unless you're the TAS. Then. Or you're doing the IL, I guess. Oops, I moved improperly there. I held down. That movement is very tight. Stun is easier, but you don't have to. You don't have to use a stun there. But since I went down, I got hit. You have to go right and then cross the guard, then down right. Glad I forgot. I don't know if I found that movement. I think I did. Help the, helps a lot in Big Boss. That movement. Of course, on the task, I think we would just cross the lasers and they just wouldn't see us for you know, bizarre reasons that elude any logic right now, at least. It's the fastest easy strat is killing that guard. This game is from the year 2000. Game Boy Color game. Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear... Metal Gear 1 is from 86, and then Metal Gear 2 is from 1990. So... Seriously. It's a Game Boy Color game. I don't know... Oh, I forgot to... <laughs> I'm not playing on emulator, by the way. <laughs> I forgot to change that. This is definitely... Not, and it's also not Pigeon. I don't... Is it? I don't remember. I think it is. Well, whatever. But it certainly is an emulator. Just forgot to change that in the. It's the worst luck. I forgot to change that in the spreadsheet. Metal Gear Solid is from 1998. That's right. Oops. That is correct, Amundo. Unless you're talking about Integral, that's from 1999, or the PC release, which is from 2000 as well. Good game. It can be frustrating casually, but it is a really great game. So I'd say all the 2D Metal Gear games are fairly frustrating casually. Sort of par for the course. Bump it along. This game is also confusingly called Metal Gear Solid. 
That is not Metal Gear Solid. Yes, the swamp is quite atrocious. Wow, that was silly. stage has a lot of luck in it. Several, like a lot of elevators and then lasers. But 12 and 13 also involve luck, but I have do execution. Well, legs, that's just strictly execution. There is there is no luck involved in that. That is just playing well. 13, still luck based, but my strategy is improved. I get better results, more consistent results. Strategy is scary though. This is not a strategy I would recommend to a beginner. This is definitely an advanced strat. I mean, I guess if you want to learn the fastest strat, you can, but it's just very, it's very strict. I mean, you could make slight adjustment to make it a bit easier, I guess. But positioning and timing are tight. You need to know the limits. <laughs> or else you, you could easily get stomped, so. It's not how that was supposed to go. That was fine though. So I saved time. Pretty sure. Yeah, I saved time. Probably like a second or two. But can we get better luck here? No dice on skipping this. Yeah. 
I needed to be in the actual position to get that minute. Way better. Still could be better though, you can get a sub 2 if you don't get missiles. Sadly, that scene that plays is unskippable and it plays through IGT. If I could find a way to actually force a pause there, that'd be great, but I haven't figured that out. And then it wouldn't matter, but you would also have to, like, somehow predict that you're going to get missiles. So, but, that's fine. Very nice time save. That 35. 34 is totally possible with like a god tier run. Good luck. Just good luck generally, even with the manip, good luck. And good execution. But 34 is, is viable. 35 is much more realistic, of course. And don't even talk to me about 33. I, that, I, don't, I can't even comprehend that, but... 34 is a thing. For sure. Alright, so new setup here. Silly. Yep. Uh, this is awkward. I'm gonna check this spot. This is not how I should be doing this. But... Screwed up my movement though. Oh, I got lucky. Well, whatever. It's fine enough. I lost. I, uh, it was still faster. But if I was doing it properly, we get like a 42. Yeah, right, right there. See, see, see that? That's, that's world record. Yeah. No, the RTA is at the bottom. That's all IGT. That's a Nix spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet. Is that a new thing you can do? That's just a timer at the bottom. It's just a timer. It just looks seamless because I made it look seamless. Right? Indeed, Nick is quite quite the G with that that uh with that spreadsheet knowledge. Blame Nick. Actually, hype Nick. Thank you for the GG's, folks. Yep, new record. Um let me pause this. The timer is not in the spreadsheet. I actually, uh, I just have live split running. There is a way to have the timer running in the spreadsheet, but I don't actually want that for the purposes of Manip. So this run, um, good stage nine luck, better. Like, I would be fine with manipping that. It's not perfect, but it'll do. 
improve stage 12 strat, save some time, and then just better execution in stage 12. That helps. Still plenty of time save on the table. So we got, uh, lol, two seconds. This was also not great. I got knocked down twice, I think. This is, eh, fine. I got trolled here a bit. Still save a couple seconds here, I think. That was not a great marionette at all. One easy second here. This few seconds. Nine. If I got the same manip and I knew it, I could save probably another 20 seconds here. At least. Uh, I screwed up stage 10. I think this is just bad luck. Not perfect, but very good. And bleh. Stop holding B. <laughs> Sorry if I'm, I, I'm talking too far away from the mic sometimes. Hopefully people could hear me during this run, because sometimes I was turning. Well, this is the Robe world record. I did have to reset. It was not like uh, two world records back to back on separate days, but strike a pose. I'll, I'll strike a pose once the timer comes up. Because that'll be very appropriate. Turn off uh, controller layout. Thirty-six twenty. Yeah, thirty-five is very doable. Very doable. Thirty-four. Hella rough. I really want like consistent minip but i think i could probably get a 34 with the, with that minip if i could consistently minip that i could probably get a 34. yes you should show the final score screen after credits show the whole thing should still show the games. You, you could have miscounted or whatever, you know. It's best to show it. Also for rank purposes. But technically you're right, we don't need to show the final time as long as you actually tallied everything correctly. <laughs> 